Hey folks, welcome back to Ostruf. Just watching our new little chapel and seating area. and Folks are interacting with it. Kind of nice. And we popped this one in at the end of last episode, right? So now we've got all these, all these different roof lines in here. I like that. A couple left to build. Well, actually, that one. Need to place two more, then this area will be done. Um, I've got a few more... Uh, <laughs> few more squares up here in our our uh, what would you call that our our wall of shame <laughs> these were what was left or what was next and there's 11 trees and 13 trees and 11 more there and 19 more there so had to find some other things for them to build I do want to get a few more houses in and this area really needs to be done. So I went ahead and laid all of this out. So first one will be right over here and get these these four done. Left another space for another bridge. And then three more, bridge, four more, bridge, and where can I see them? One, two, three more over here. So lots of access points across this river. Boats are going to hate it. Yep. But... The idea long term is hops and farms and things that work well on these slopes that don't work well with buildings. And these are the folks that are going to be working them most likely. So easy access to get to them. We are into May, which means what? Everything is planted. We're, we're seeing all of our blossoms for our orchards. And they're looking pretty good. I never did finish planting these again. These were cherries, if I remember right. Yeah, let's just put those in just to just to be done with it. Now, can I tell where those went? Not really. I can't see enough fence posts in here. So, about right there. Yeah, something. Well, a little more of a space than that. Let's see if we can match the other one. So about there. All right. So you are there to there. Another one over here. Something like that, and something like that. That we'll see. I think it's close enough. Four windmills are running. No, two are. You are waiting for workers. You're getting the wheat delivered to you, though. That's good. And you would just fire it up at the end of last episode. We've got a cow shed over here with 20. Same there. What have we got going on over here? we got plenty of, of space. There's 200 available. If I send in four cows, it'll give me... Well, make sure there isn't one already happening. Nope. So... Four cows will finish two runs and give us lots of tallow for this episode. Get some more soap done. So let's do. Let's keep the two two-year-old bulls in there. We'll send these guys out, and two more of you. There's four bulls to send in. Otherwise, I have to speed this up and just kind of. Uh, See what happens. Drakachi, have we already worked with you? We have not. You have 11 days left. You must have happened in between episodes. Um, Drakachi is charcoal. Charcoal is not a thing right now. Yeah, we're working on charcoal. There was talk of maybe putting some kind of a tree farm in here, but this really isn't the place for the tree farm right now. Now... We're going to be building this area up. Their job really is to clear this area out. That's kind of the idea. They're just not doing it as fast as they're using the firewood. So we well, we did this at the end of last episode, trying to get more people to bring firewood over, and they're, they're basically doing it. So now it's just a matter of making these guys do some work. So let's give them a little more incentive, maybe two more and apply to all. See if we can get some more laborers to jump into these guys and start filling them up. The firewood is here, and the firewood is here. There's about 9,000 in each. So all we're really doing is we're just moving it from here to here with all that extra work. I wanted them to move it from here 
to there and grab this firewood but that doesn't seem to be a thing I can I can do that manually I can tell a cart shed to go bring a bunch of firewood over and if I can get a bunch of folks to fill these up then we can do just that you know there's wow 1400 reserved and 1400 leaving so temporarily we're gonna get a an angry message here that you put too much in but it's on its way out the door yeah okay well they're doing their firewood thing somebody's broken their hand and i've probably 11 days have gone by pretty quick right uh two days left yeah fast speed i never get everything done so you want to sell to us and none of that is important i don't think Sallow, there's still a little bit of old sallow in town. We'll let them eat that up. Dried fish, we're, we're making some again. So you want to buy from us. How are our shoes doing? We'll wait on that. What's in here? Salt and charcoal's in here. Okay. One day more. Chicken eggs, sunflower oil. We're, that's just enough for ourselves. Apples, just enough for ourselves until the, the new crop comes in. Honey, how you doing? Yeah, we're about a thousand there. I think we're... We're fine trading-wise. We don't need to do any more. Um, now what? As these start, and one of the reasons why I waited to do any of this was to start at this end over here, is that they can use the markets that are in here. We're going to get to a point, probably, this house will technically reach, but they may only reach the store that's in this one. So it's this one, this one, that one, and this one. So this one just barely made it. So it's probably here that's the last house that can access all of the different stores in there. So once we build up to this point, we need to start thinking about more of a uh, of a market in this area. And exactly where, I don't know. Maybe surrounding this roadway coming through and this roadway going through this way. So maybe some kind of a market right in here would be, be kind of fun to, to set up. All of these should be able to access it. Even these would then have choices of that one or this one. Yeah, I like that. Though if we did intentionally put it over here, in between this roadway and this, which is what? This lane coming down and turning? I think it's what that becomes and then this over to here then we might actually get a few houses over on this side that can reach it too and give these access to a to a market so this would probably look the best this would be the most functional so we'll probably do something along those lines there but out over here it just seemed with all the farmlands and the industrial area there it just kind of felt like these should be regular houses not more of the row houses over here it's just this is the row house area and we're going to build it up a little bit further so that it looks like it was intentional but beyond that it just kind of sprawls out into um, into suburbia yeah. this is our little downtown area <laughs> Um, we could lay this one out, though it just adds one more to our pile, but it gives them something to do. It gives us something to do. Where it may, what's the exclamation point? All carts need repair. So, because there's only one cart left, it hasn't moved to this one yet. And maybe it has to be repaired before they'll move it? That could be. Just waiting to see if somebody runs over and grabs this real quick. Not going to happen, huh? Okay. Um, out of curiosity, the carpenters. Carpenter, singular. Interesting. And you're repairing your cart already. Okay. So when this one gets delivered, let's see what happens here. You probably have to do your work. Then you have to... Is that done? Or is that starting? I think it's starting because there's... Yeah, you just grab the five parts from inside so once you're done with that you're gonna be taking a break anyway okay well I could force this to be repaired but I would assume that he would do it on his own I think so and we're starting to see some products show up in these guys yeah they were mostly empty there for a while but there's something in every one of them now right except for you you don't have pumpkins or firewood firewood's odd why are you not stocking firewood? Because somebody else must have stocked firewood. Uh, someone else must have bought the firewood that was in there. 
I guess probably the best way to look at that. But I think we'll be fine there. So firewood, did it ever make it into here? Um, here. That's where I wanted it to be and nothing there. Is there anything left over in this old one? Yeah, there's, someone's hauling this 300 over to where? Um, not there. And not there. So, who else up here would be using firewood? Oh, oh is there firewood over here? You've got firewood, don't you? Yeah, and there it is. Hunter's going into there. Okay. So, they'll get that sorted out here in a little bit. But is there, are there any other fires I need to be working on? May, June, July. I don't think so. So, I think we can turn the speed up and just settle in over here for a while. So, I want another full-size building over here. But not a three-story. I think it was this one we were going to do. This one is a store, though. I don't want another store. So, let's do a normal two-story, which... We haven't actually built. No, we haven't. Two stories with stores and two stories with the, the carriage pass-through. So you will just be a two-story. Right there. And let's do that differently. Let's grab you, delete you, and then do that. That way you're already aligned. Now you front steps come out this way, which kind of makes things congested. If I were to flip you around and see the backside this time, where am I? Right in there. Little steps. Does that look odd over here? Don't know. I mean, give us a little bit of variety. There's one window on this side. No windows on this side. That would make it look different. But so would a single window. Hmm. Interesting. These two buildings are identical. I've got them reversed. No, 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 no. One has the arcade. Okay. I'm just wondering if the roofs randomize. You've got one single window there and nothing on the back. Grab that again. Yeah, that's a different uh, different top. Oh. The roof's randomized. I didn't realize that. I, I did on the other ones, but not on these. But that staircase versus that one. I think I'm going to go with the smaller staircase over here. Though it doesn't give us windows on this particular one. This one's got windows on both sides. Let's try that. Let's roll the dice again. You... Still just windows on on one side. Maybe that's all the two stories are going to give us. Yeah, and you're a round window. Ah, oh, there we go. Rolled the dice and got it. Took us a while, though. Um, have married. Oh, a house got finished. Okay. We'll go look at that in a moment. So you're here, and you are the little staircase... Yeah, you're the big staircase. Let's put the little out here this time because it's so congested in this area. So you're going to be there. And front to back. There. Good enough? I think so. So you're going to be there. Then another archway here and a wall that runs up. And once this one builds, I'll put another corner one here. I guess aimed in, so but it'll aim right into that road. And this archway, the road will come up. That'll aim into it. It'll come around the backside. And then we'll connect the dots here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to land just perfectly enough to get one of these in here. No, you're not going in anywhere. Oh, because the bridge goes so far in, we rebuilt this bridge. So, if I had known that, I could have planned this bridge to start over here, and it would have been just enough room to drop this in, but that's probably just not going to happen on this side. It won't be the same as this side over here. And I suppose that's fine. I moved the fence around over in here. It used to shoot across and felt really tight in here. I got to staring at this 
section right here and thought, you know, this might look good. Barvinkove to put some trees up against the building. But man, those trees are huge. I mean, they're huge. <laughs> of course, that's a big tree there, too. Um, what does a maple look like? Oh, I like the look of that, but you've got to get it so far away from the building. Unless we just let it grow up around the roof like that and kind of surround the corner. That's kind of interesting. Uh, what's an ash look like? Uh, right there. Not as big. Oh, that's kind of interesting. One in the middle and then two other somethings next to it. Nah, I think it needs to be a little bit taller than the crown of the top of the building. Let's go back to that maple. Nope. So maybe we need a huge. Let's see. That was the cottonwood, birch, pine, and spruce. Spruce would look just right. And then something else next to it. Let you set in a little bit. Maybe something like that. And then... I missed the center. Oh well, stuck with that now. And something not as intense. I think... I don't think we want birch in here. No, we got that already out there. Either maple or ash. So, maple goes to... Right about that point right there. Ash goes where? About the same. And you look a little more like a conifer tree. Hmm. The, the two might look well together. Let's put you in there. Oh, wow, that's planted already. Ah! Now, how far do you want to wrap you around? And we can rotate you, though. I don't know how random... Or can we? F. No, we can't rotate you. <clears throat> okay. So you wrap around a little bit. Where are the windows? Okay. So you guys are coming in right about there. Okay. So, wow. These guys came out and planted immediately. The right one? Yeah. No logs. Can't keep up with the logs. We are making charcoal again, though. So these two is another... 20,000 coming. Um, this one. Charcoal. Four. So about 20, 20 some thousand. Time we get these two going. And you still have 8,600 firewood. And you still have 14. So we have 10,000 firewood. <clears throat> so out of curiosity. Slow that down. Yeah. Do you have any leaving? You do not. Do you have any leaving? 100, so that's probably a little shop or a stall. Hmm, okay. So if I can't draw any more firewood over than just emptying this building out, which really had no purpose at all, you know, they can just grab from here and go to there. So how else can we do this? You're waiting for another worker, okay. So what's another way other than... Yeah, you're back to 10,000. Hmm. So, I suppose the other way to do it is to drop you two out of here. You're supplying, but you're just supplying from here. So, you're not even using a cart. Huh. I thought they would have... Uh, where do we have the carts over here now? Here. I thought they would have grabbed a cart, gone through, and got more than just 400. I'm guessing it's a thousand out of a cart. You are a laborer on your way to... Ah, you're filling this up. Okay. Let's stop them from doing that now. You're going there, you're going there. We'll let you get inside. And instead, we'll leave this full and I'll cart some over to this one. And see if there's a difference. You are continuing to work. Storage is full. We'll just send you home. Okay. So... Let's burn this firewood in the charcoal, and then I'll cart 10,000 more into there, leaving this with its 10,000. 
and that'll give us 20,000 over here rather than just swapping them back and forth. Village house is completed, so we built our second village house. So, migration allowed, water supply is sufficient, enough food for sale, housing available, jobs available, no entertainment buildings required at this point, and religious needs are satisfied. So, I'm guessing any issues with alcohol is not a thing, at least at 339 population. Maybe a 500 population, there is another line that's added. And then that becomes an issue. But right now, it does not seem to be. How are you guys doing, by the way? So, we're down to 180 and 158. So, we've added another load into here. You have got your 200, and you're saying, hey, there's there's a lot more we can put in here, but we're, we're going to leave that over there. Um, now, I, I'm, I'm debating this part right here, take from the granaries. This is taking from this one, but that one doesn't have enough room. So if we were to make, buy some, would it go into here or would it just sit here waiting until there's room to go into the final one that says take from other granaries so i'm curious how they're going to interact with each other in that sense you never got done so do i have to force you to we just need more people interesting or we just have a lot of people doing labor work there's I'm, I'm here getting comments from folks that are noticing that labor has really changed since the last hotfix. Labor's changed, wages have changed, distance that they're willing to walk and to go to work has changed. So little issues are going to crop up here and there now until either that gets unchanged or rebalanced again with the next uh, the next work on the on the uh, on the game. Just looking to see how all these flowers are looking. Everything's blossomed out now. Looking good. I can't say I've actually seen somebody sitting in here recently, but I haven't really been looking either. Okay, so you are waiting for a new family. Nobody moved in instantly, which means there are no other marriageable couples ready to go. Couples at marriage age. So there's, I know there were quite a few older um, kids living in here. This one in particular, or were we over here? And they were in the 30s and 40s. I think at some point the game no longer lets them um, marry. I don't know what the, the cutoff is, but where was that couple I was thinking of? It's in this place. Because, yeah, 30, 33, and 37. So I'm guessing there are no others of similar age that can marry and and jump into there so it must be like a 18 to you know somewhere in your 20s or maybe 30 and then it cuts it off and doesn't doesn't combine couples a child has been born so we are available to get migration in if we choose to there's nothing keeping it from happening that's fine now you so trees in here and that'll kind of clean that end up so I guess the same thing is here and eventually over here. We'll, we'll see how this looks first and then think about doing the same thing to hide those ends. I think that's a way around that. This one will have an end over here too because we're not going to end it in a quarter house. I'm trying to even out the, uh, the lengths here. So another little corner right there still going to be off a little bit but that's fine this corner will drop off into this gap just like this one did dropped off into this void over here so it'll look pretty even otherwise what is going on speed things back up <clears throat> july so our orchards have hired and apples are starting to come in she must have just... No, there's 500 there. Okay. So 500, 500, 200. And we should start seeing folks bringing these into the the uh, markets. I did put only apples over here. So I didn't waste any space on the cherries and apricots because they don't last very long. Whereas this one should have them. And they're, they're in here and, and ready for sale. 
And there's one over here that will have them. I don't remember. I don't have this market memorized yet as to where everything is. There's the fruit, the fruit uh, stand. Okay, and it's coming in, but nobody's buying them yet. New family is settling into our town. Good. And they are all the way over here on their way down to a bridge. So eventually they'll start bridging probably right through here. And this may become one of the main pathways right in here. We'll see how that works. But you're cutting right down our main road. No, you're going to cut through the woods until you come right to the right to the door. Yeah. We'll get these two houses built this episode. And then we'll go back hopefully to where we were before. But we're still three trees left. Okay. Get this built, which is the back side of the new market area. And once we see this fencing in, then maybe I'll get to work kind of decorating this area, make it look better. Still have plenty of vacancies available in here. So I don't have to come up with a uh, with another plan just yet. That's good to see. You are fallow this time. So we've got wheat, flax, and hemp growing over here. We've got buckwheat, flax, and hemp over here. So plenty of flax and hemp now with the three farms. You are potatoes, you are buckwheat, and we're still sowing. Really? This didn't happen. And... Wow. And sunflower. So... That just kind of died. No growth or anything. We're going to lose this one. Interesting. I've never seen that before. One worker left and she's buying food. Okay. Well, that will hopefully change when we get these houses in but that waits until we get another market in or we start getting into these houses which is something I should probably be laying out next yeah wow so July August is when seasonal hiring will lay everybody off so they can go and take these fields down but yeah this is just this is a loss now um so let's set a few more houses over here then what is the plan? And let's just verify that it's still working the way that it should be. This shouldn't say that we need to, that we're too far away from a market. We hit that point right about here. So the dis distance be difference between that house right there and a house over here, it's about that far. So farther out is where it loses range from hitting these guys. But I want them to be able to hit this one over here too. And it looks like that's about the same distance. So that distance there. About that distance there. Okay. So I want the house fairly close to the back side of these. So that they can access all ten of these stalls. And get access to our onions and our garlics. We need to sell those too. So although the house at the very furthest away may be the one that you know, only interacts with a few of the markets. And we're taking it to the extreme. But let's lay out a few of these. Take you and turn you around. And do what? We have a little chapel right here. Do we want the road to be here instead? No, no, no. Because this, these are all going to touch. So the road needs to come back up over here. Okay. That helps. So grab you. Flip you around. Put you, you know, here for the moment. I don't know if I want to try to squeeze a little tiny one into there. Maybe we'll just put a regular house there. Oh, we'll see. So set you. And we can make these lots fairly big. Though it is that road that I'm thinking about. Let's take... So if we take this first one. There we go. First one can be shorter. The road's going to come up like this. Then they can get longer and longer and longer. That might work. Did I lose it? I lost it. Okay, try you one more time. All right, so there. And see, I've got to click my right mouse button to move. And if I click it and don't move, then it deletes this thing like I was trying to throw it away. But this... Shorten it down. 
come around, turn the corner, head up. But this could even come into some strange little place like this. Give them lots of extra growing space. You know, it can be some odd shape. Like so. I'm trying to picture that that new road. I wish I had another point. Well, I guess I could do something like this and just ignore the uh, ignore this little spot here. Yeah, that's possible. Give them a little more space in there. And there. And we'll make you pretty much vertical compared to the front of this. I think that's it. It's a weird shape, but it will do the job. And I need you probably as quite far back. I want to make sure you can reach those markets. We'll go there. So you're going in. It's going to be quite a while before you get your trees cleared, but we could move you in a little bit sooner. and Hopefully it happens. You're two left. You are fifteen. No, 13 left, 11 left, and 19 left. Some of these houses may not get done for quite some time. There's a lot of trees waiting for that one. A lot of trees waiting here. I say we do this one, and then we move into these. Although the pigsty is waiting too. That was... I think it was up this pathway here, so he's right there. Yeah. Did I click on that? I finished, right? I did. Good. So let's set another one. Now we do have the beginnings of a road over here because we um, had set the school at this point. I think it was right in that space. Do we maintain the road? Probably so. It's a long distance from this road and this one as far as being able to, to work their way through the neighborhood to come back down to go to something. Yeah, we better keep that little road. Okay, so you grab and go here spin you around a little bit and match you to that one match you to that one but you can go much further up and out you can be just kind of crazy although I do want to curve this outer road in a little bit too and make this thing arc around so you're probably more like that but that's a good size yard Something like that, but back. I want you guys close to the market. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so new road comes in. Starts to curve around. Road over here. Do we follow this one? Or do we follow this one? Or do we split the difference? Let's split the difference. Take you into there. Yeah, a tiny bit more. Okay, something like that. And that still leaves you there? I think so. Okay. So that's those two. Now where did you go? Did I move you yet? That's you. So we're going to not... Yeah, we're going to do that one. That's 11. We're going to... I think we're going to ignore you. Definitely going to ignore you. And that is the first one. So you... You got 17 trees, though. Okay, where's the pigsty? Right there. So pigsty, and then that one. And you got 25 trees. Oh, this place is wooded. This place is so wooded. You're the pigsty, so you go there. It's going to take a long time to get just two houses in right there. It really is. Wow. Okay. So you are... Five and five. They're no longer... Yeah. If they got five guys, they're going to hang on to them. <clears throat> um, you are still having a problem because I can't get anybody into here. Hmm, okay, so Carpentry, let's give you guys a boost in pay, and let's take down your laborers a little bit. We may have to do this once in a while in certain situations and kind of 
force the market to move. We are into August. A lot of people have been laid off. Oh, you have been laid off. Wait a minute. Okay, let's take you up one. Yeah, let's do that for you. Let's see if we can get somebody hired in there. Otherwise, I guess we're going to have to force this. Oh, n never mind. The exclamation point had a different meaning this time. Yeah, demolish. All right, slow you down. So you get done next. And just one more thing to stall while we're taking trees down. That's really what I'm doing with all these buildings projects. If I can think of any other smaller ones like cart sheds that's a great little project to toss in here gazebos and stuff like that so they can work on those while the the loggers are taking down the trees um so you're going away and that'll let me see this a little bit better and figure out where the roads go i really wanted to take these guys and move them back and make just a single road go through here and in the end i might just do that i might just bump you out and take you out to here and force the road now yeah, but that's not the alignment over here though it does have to be up in here it does hmm okay that's a little awkward but this is an internal road right in here well this one this is a main road that's a main road and this one splits if I kicked it back any further it would then lose the symmetry of this, the gaps in here that's why I didn't want to move it before but Oh well, we'll figure that out. Um, so you're leaving. We'll get to figure out what happens here. It's the back of the barber surgery. Could be their, you know, their backyard. This fence could come through and somehow claim some space over here, just like the school. So these guys, nobody's hired on. All this space available for workers, and we're not getting anything. Now this didn't finish its cycle. So, is this going to rotate? I wonder. Um, I've ignored the last few uh, merchants, haven't I? Yeah, it's only one of me, and there's a whole bunch of them, so I'm going to lose. <laughs> uh, you guys have got that many. You guys have got that many. I could limit them. I took the limits off to see if these guys could fend for themselves, and they did. But now nobody wants to work over there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's take you down to eight. Let's take you down to eight. And once they work through that group, they won't rehire. Am I not running? I am running slow. Um, that should force some people over here if they want to find employment. Or it will just simply send them to the, the charcoal piles and start getting all this stuff moved out. And there's a whole bunch of them over here. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to get our charcoal caught up again, though. Charcoal right now is 16,000. Okay. Well, let's go play with the trader for a little bit. You are the one we're working with you want to buy we're not ready for any of these we're not selling these i doubt there's well they're starting to, to get we're starting to get flour in town let's go look at the flour how much is built up and what condition is it in we're halfway there's 1200 here got all these guys running when we can find work we seems like at one point we didn't have enough wheat and so we went ahead and put them on seasonal hiring. But now that I see you're having so much trouble getting them to apply to all, getting them to rehire, we probably should just leave it on all the time. So that moved over to all of them. We have 500, 190, 500, or 50, 150 and 20, 500. This one never hired never used it and nobody never got around to loading this one up because there's none left in this area wheat there's five thousand wheat sitting there there's only a hundred wheat left sitting over there okay um wheat does not go down here it goes from here and here so there's 
Actually, we're pretty low on wheat over there. What are we on wheat now? Wheat. We're down to 5,000. We had 8 or 9 at one time. So we're starting to use it up. So there's 1,200 flour sitting down over here and it's halfway gone. Let's go ahead and get rid of that 1,200 flour. If you guys are still in town. Uh, 20 more, more days. Okay. You want to buy flour. Let's sell you 1,200. And it shouldn't be that hard to get it down here. Did that take? It did. And you flower. There you are. 1,200 temporary. And it's already being worked on. Great. Um, you want to sell to us. Mead. We got plenty. Window glass, dried fish, honey, iron ore. Nope. And to sell to you flour and oil, about the only things that would qualify right now. A couple months from now, we'll have onions. But otherwise, I think that is it for you. Okay. So that's taken care of. We've got our first couple of houses sit over here. I could lay them all out and then pick the ones that have the least amount of trees. But did this help? Let's speed things up again. Once we clear out... Okay, we've cleared out that bottom row. They're now deciding whether they want to rehire somewhere else. We've cleared out most of these. The workers have left. <laughs> yeah, some things have changed with the game. I can see that now. But it will be what it will be. Yeah, I get that from Skibbeth, listening to, to his uh, episodes. When things don't go right, it is what it is. <laughs> Flax is being brought in. You guys are working on the buckwheat now. So what have we actually accomplished over here? Another village is done. We're still working on this one to begin with, and this one never happened. And we've got all of this to do. There's a lot of work to get done over here. Okay, we have August and September. You, all the apples got done. We have apples to sell, and you hold on here. Did I... I there were apples. I just glazed right over that. I saw the onions and the carrots and thought, no, we don't have any vegetables yet. But we do have apples. You'll take 3154, and I caught you in time. 3154 deal. And right there. Flour. There was only one thing. Okay. I'm used to this one already having a couple line items. I was thinking, okay, this had a line item already, and we were supposed to put something in there. Did I just. But yeah, that's good. 1,200? Why does it say 1,000? Oh, you're sitting in here. Wait, there's a... There's a 1,000 sitting in here already. Why is it 1,200 of 1,000? We brought over 1,000. We're asking for 12. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes you, you see something that you've seen a thousand times before but this time it just doesn't compute that is right right i think it is <laughs> yeah that must be right anyway um what was i doing apples 30 something 31 54 apples and there yeah zero of 10 of okay there's two more coming all right that makes sense Okay, we've taken out the cart parking. That was this one. What does that look like now? Let's get you gone, though that shouldn't be hard to do. We're building things again, so they're, they're needing materials. Um, we're building this, for that matter, but we've got all the materials over here. So that opens up the space again. And what it really does is it allows me to put in some fencing around here and do things with it to manipulate things that I couldn't do before because this area was just taking up everything and I couldn't move a fence through so that'll give me a chance after this one builds and after the episode to just sit here and stare at it a while see how I want to manipulate things we did this last time put this fence in and the grass is all starting to grow up again and they're not using this as a road and I'm doing a lot of stuttering I guess I'm holding this fence yeah, now it's not. So the two things together were almost too much. Um, house just went in. I hear that? I did. So you're going in. You've got all your materials in. Good. So these are going in rather quickly. Do we pop a bridge in soon? It would give me something to do while I'm waiting for trees to go down. That's for sure. 
though you are the next one up there. So that's the only one left besides this one that have no trees. So there's a new family moving in. They brought all their goods with them, a couple of kids. Now you, okay, there's a good example. In fact, we were going to check on that. Let's slow things down. You are 12 years old. You weren't near a school when you became 10. So I'm thinking this kid will never go to school. There was, what, a 9 and an 8 in one of these apartments. So there's a 2. There's a 2. So it's this one. No, that's a 3. And that's your brothers and sisters. Where are they at? This household has got a lot of kids. Whoa. Okay, so you should be in school because this school was operating for you. Okay, maybe my theory's gone. Anyway, let's test one more time. You, I thought there was an eight-year-old in here. I really thought so, unless they moved or something. Two. Two. And three. Okay, well, maybe it was this one then. You... <laughs> Um, 1, 4, and 26. That's quite a spread. She had a baby at 49. Interesting. Good for her. <laughs> um, 9 years old, so less we want to keep an eye on. Uh, maybe it was this one? Was there an 8 over here? There's a 5. There's one in each building, of what I remember from last time. 10. You became 10. You're near a school, and you're playing around. Okay, has broken a hand, and you're just sitting there. So they are not interacting with the new school. Wild. I don't know what to make of that. I just don't. I kind of give up on my uh, my assumptions. Yeah, okay, doctor, you did 40 last month. You're staying afloat. Our uber-rich doctor over here is at 4,000. But we're still at 15,000, so we're, town wise, we're doing fine. We don't need to steal his money to make ourselves feel better. We've got all that we need to do. Whatever happened over here? We still we have 100 left toward the next one. We've got those batches done. Tallow. We have a 50 over here, a little bit of tallow. The 50 over here combines with. The 150 over there, and 50 more is coming, so they're about to finish another round. I could send in four more just for fun. Uh, sheep, 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 sheep. Ram, ram. Lots of rams. Let's send you four out. There and there. So that gives us another round in here. And we could do another three here. One. That's what, so we need two more here. And you must be heading out to get a sheep right now. So we have room for two more. I cleaned you out last time. We're 20 of 20 and 20 of 20. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so take some one-year-olds. Let's take some two, another two-year-old. You got a three and a two here. And got a two and a two... We'll take you. Okay. So that will keep those full and operating. I never checked this out last time. That's right. Maybe I'll go back and look at the old video. We now have this employed 20 or 12 months out of the year. And we're only running one person, which means there's plenty of extra to get all the way into the, the uh, frozen river to see if this thing is still turning. Though you are going to work and you are going to work, so nobody's actually doing anything. You, though, don't have any left, so we're not as backed up as I thought we would be. It's been two years now. We've all been running one person in each. And there's, well, there'll be some left over, but not as much as I thought. Okay, we're still working on you. We just can't get anybody over here. Okay. We'll kick you guys up to 150. <clears throat> See if we can get you to to uh, move across the map. Wow. 
Um, so you are being worked on three people over here. And nobody on their way into work. So it's up to you three to get it done. Where am I at? 50 minutes. Okay. Otherwise, did I miss any messages as far as... I put a third one in. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So we have three teams over there now. We have two teams over here and they're still operating. And there's really no point in getting this done any faster. They're not going to plan it anyway. Wow. Okay. So you are being built. What else is there to keep our eyes on? You never hired. You did with one person. You have not hired either. Okay. 110. Apply to all. Give you guys a little bit of help over there. Um, I made the comment earlier. Lots of flax and lots of hemp. So these are right here. You... We're into September. But... Okay. I don't have you set up to be gone in September. Just... August and, and July to help out with the orchards. September you should have rehired. So we're just kind of waiting for that to happen to see if it does happen. So how are we doing over here then? Okay, we are getting ore into this area now. Charcoal loaded. Iron ore loaded. Iron being smelted. So long as there's something in these two, this will keep going up. And there's laborers. Uh, we're still constantly overloaded over here so maybe we could take a few out of here you and you take you down to three for that matter we could take you guys down to two working going to work now you made you made that long trip i'll give you a second i was thinking we could turn two on over here and two on over here that could work so you, working, working, who's going to be going home first? I think you are. We'll just send you home. Okay. So two in each one over there. That way there's a better chance that we're not going to overload and have this symbol pop up. So they'll be making half as much in each. And otherwise over here, nobody's brought any over. So they're just stocking this. And, and what is our limit here? 2,000? 2,000, yeah. So they can't even get to this point, let alone overflow into that one. Okay. Charcoal, though, is looking a lot better than it was at the beginning of the episode. At least something's working. Charcoal, where are you? 32,000. An ox died of old age. Okay. Well, I actually noticed it. Okay. So let's grab an ox. We have over here, bowl of two years, and you're set for slaughter. Over here... Bowl of three years, let's get you going. Ox you out and move you over to here. And we should see a worker going to work milking cows. So you're coming back from the pasture and buying food. So the going to work is probably going to be the one to do it. Because you are probably taking a rest. Yep. <clears throat> so you're going to work, but you live way over here and you go to work through the woods. Mm hmm. So you will grab an ox and haul that one in you no workers one worker and one worker so we're getting at least something done we should see an ox rolling through here pretty quick relocating cow oh the cows out in the field ah so there's somewhere in there is a rather uncomfortable uh, what used to be a bull waiting to be uh, taken to his new home Okay, so that is this one. You guys want what? Now we should see... You dropped off something. What did we just buy? No. Flour. There we go. You just bought flour and the bar reset. You're coming in to buy apples. So that's interesting. So it got a new life. Yeah. You are there. You do not want apples also. Okay, you do want to sell us... Where are we at on sheepskins? I don't think I can really test it here. 
because it's all in storage. We're making our own broadcloth. We are making our own sheepskins um, over here. Just not near the quantity that we could actually use. Yeah, that's what's being made right there. So they're being used right here. Broadcloth there. And a whole bunch more broadcloth there. Okay. Let's add another lady to the tailor shop. Yeah. Let's take them off of seasonal hiring. Let's just do that. Three ladies and keep them there. There's enough broadcloth to be going for a long time and maybe even give us some uh, some product to sell as possible. Let's go ahead and bring in a thousand broadcloth. Do we have room? And did I just miss it? There's sheep, not broadcloth, sheepskin. So there's 30 plus the 700 compared to 1100 and 900 so there's 2000 versus 750 ish so let's bring a thousand in it's not going to completely level it off but it will get us a step further so sheepskins 1000 and this is buying yes 1000 and deal so offering we're buying buckwheat we're sitting in that 4000 range you we could do another thousand of you deal so these two are coming in glaze we still have plenty iron ore iron and lime lime where are we at we're still at 14,000 okay flour we're at 90 okay so what we did have left has probably just been sent out to several market stalls cheese potash We've got quite a bit of that, so we need to get the glassworks up and going soon. Yeah. Uh, sheep hides, potatoes, were. You want to buy potatoes. Town storage of 16. Let's go look at those. And I've got 21 days left. Potatoes are here. And they're still in pretty good shape. We did not process any. Right. It was hemp and flax and buckwheat or something over here. And I don't know if this one even worked. Now we do have a thousand potatoes over here. And these thousand would hold us for much, most of a year. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys. There's 690 there. And there's nothing else in any of the other smaller ones. It's all over here. And is there any sitting in storage over here from before? No. And you don't make potatoes, right? Right. So that is it. 690 somewhat older potatoes. Let's... And they'll draw from here for that market. So let's get rid of 590. Let's do that. So let's bring 590 potatoes over here. And temporary you. And then let's sell them 590. The rest, I think we can eat ourselves. And it'll be fine. Okay, so you're good. Um, I feel like I was going to do one more thing before I ended the episode, which is now. Um, nope, that, that memory is gone. <laughs> it is. We got these four houses done. Oh, I know. That's what I mentioned. The glaze. We may as well start using it. Um, pottery. That's right here. Which means, I think between episodes I'm going to stare at these buildings one more time. I left this bridge here to align with this road. Whereas this pathway through here, which is actually a little tight. Maybe I'll move that cart parking. But that comes down and I guess combines with this one. Probably should have gone right there. But that's kind of the idea of the bridges or how they line up is this really how I want everything I've got to figure that out but it would be nice to get that that um, certain so I can then tell come on these guys and put a bunch of red X's there so they can start clearing these trees out although they won't clear them out until they've done every other red X it goes in the order that you click them so I may have to maybe delete some of these and then get those set but it would be nice to see the 
pottery and glass works up and running soon. Then we'll get to work on the distillery and the brewery. And yeah, another farm to run it, which means these houses have got to be up and going. There's, we're going to deplete our labor and we're going to deplete our supplies. You know, there's 5,000 flour in stock now, one year's worth. It'd probably wipe all that out in a distillery, but there'd be few people to run it. Yeah, so it's all got to happen. It's hard to pick which one is first, but it's all got to happen. Anyway, I think I am done. I don't think there's anything else other than that, yeah, we have a lot of buildings not being run right now. Maybe I'll spend some time after this episode and just kind of walk through all the buildings and just stare at things and figure out what is needed to get this functioning a little better now than you know, back to way, the way it was before Hotfix 3 came out. Or maybe Hotfix 4 will pop in one of these days and everything will go back to normal and all this extra work that I just did is now compounding up the opposite problem. You know, all of a sudden there's no laborers because everybody wants a job because that problem was noticed and fixed real quick. And if I had just left it alone... It would have fixed itself. There's always that possibility, too. Anyway, let's just call this done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.